Hello, my name is Brian Alexander. I'm a, I just finished my uh, bachelor's in education sciences with an emphasis in educational technology. And the word I got is outstanding student in educational sciences. I think that it means like a lot of, like I didn't really notice that a lot of teachers would, I wanna say it was Dr. Uh, Addis, Adam, Allison Adams that I think told me about that word, I wanna say. But uh, it's like not a lot of teachers you would think pay attention to every single student in your class or how much work you put into a lot of projects. But it feels like just getting that award uh, that a lot of teachers were actually paying attention to the work I did, not just here's a grade, here's um, a B, a, a, a C, just something for you to pass or get a, a next credit for a class. They actually look over your work and say that this is something they put a lot of work into. So I feel like it's like the recognition from professors. Yes, so originally I had this like for, I know I needed an internship to finish my major. At the time, I think it was um, computer sciences, but I was looking for a new major because I was having a hard time with the calculus too. I just really hated math. So uh, I was really struggling in that class, but when I, for my internship, I needed somewhere to go first. So originally I was tutoring at PK Young and they always told me over there that I was a really good tutor and that uh, students seemed to really learn a lot from me. And I just really explained it in ways like, uh, it's just some simple math, maybe like uh, algebra one, algebra two, a little bit of sciences. And I helped them with um, essays, just like grammar and stuff. When I was helping students there, uh, I noticed that like some of them had a really hard time learning things. Some of them had an easier time learning things. And it's kind of like that same thought that if some people can help others with what they know, then it makes learning for everybody a whole lot easier. So that's when I was looking for a new major and I saw that UF added the education sciences. And those two words alone like really intrigued me because I was like, education, I was never really like intrigued on just an education major, but education sciences, more like the study of learning, that kind of like really clicked with me. So like just the fact, the fact alone that I could work with technology, which I really liked because I was originally computer sciences and education helping other people learn. I really liked that part. So I was able to, and uh, what I'm trying to do with my degree is uh, be an instructional designer, which like I'll create like courses, curriculum for students, not just necessarily students, but people to learn with. And I feel like that's like the big impact. If I can create things that people find easier to learn, then everybody benefits from that. And I kind of like found that that's something I really liked doing while I was tutoring at PK Young. And then it just kind of happened that everything fell in place that I also found that same major while I was looking for a new major at that time. Right now, I'm still interning at uh, Exact Tech, even with the, I was an intern, I guess now I'm an extern because of the whole, that's what my job title says on there with the COVID. But uh, I want to say uh, during the next semester, I want to, if they'll let me still work there or at least pursue more experience in instructional design so that I can start like getting into a, I want to say a company that would benefit a lot of students. I would say that education is have you ever told anybody you're an education science major? They automatically think education only. So the first question will be, oh, you want to be a teacher? Education is so much more than just being a teacher. And I think that's the one thing that a lot of people don't know. Because uh, UF alone has the three colleges, I want to say it's three in education, teaching and learning. Uh, I can't remember the other two names, but um, I know I have all in teaching and learning. And just one of those other ones are all just being a teacher, while the other ones are supporting teachers, supporting students, and just the study of learning itself. I think education is so much more than just teaching, but also like at the same time, there's nothing wrong with just teaching. If you know that you can teach and you can teach well, it's a really good spot to be in. In class, I know for my last two semesters, I since it's like more like the upper level classes, I worked with a lot of the same students. I know that uh, there's one student I worked with, Lavanda Cook. Me and her did a lot of like the same, not the same projects, but um, 
we had like a lot of the same, we bounced ideas back and forth so, with each other. And there was one time when I think it was Dr. L, uh, Bojan Lazarus, his um, email communications weren't working at all. So a lot of the students, he didn't know that. So a lot of the students had no idea like how to contact him. So it was me and her, we ended up like messaging him back and forth with a bunch of other people. And we had to find like a way around from that for him to know that his email wasn't working. So I think it was like the fact that, um, that that was set up to him because like had he none of us took the initiative to fix that, nobody would have, I don't even think he would have known at all that his email never worked. A lot of students would have had late assignments. A lot of grades would have been affected by that. So I think that really stood out. I would say that um, always open up yourself to opportunities because at first, when I was looking for an internship, even though I was still finishing out, well, trying to finish out computer sciences because of the calculus, I was looking at PK Young and I was thinking, I know it's a school, but that's something that I could use as experience because originally I was tutoring and I really I was looking more for like an internship spot. So I was going to go from tutoring and seeing if the, um, I want to say it was either my supervisor there or the principal I was working with both would let me do an internship there, which they did, but uh, at, at the, start of the next semester, Exact Tech also told me that I could do an internship with them. So I ended up finding like, wow, now I actually, I actually almost had three internship opportunities. I just couldn't remember what the third one was. I think it was with Lifestyle. I'm not 100% sure if I, I know I was talking to them, but I don't know if I ever got it. But if I didn't open up myself to start at, uh, at um, PK Young, I wouldn't have gotten to go to Exact Tech, which I really like it there because I'm learning a lot of instructional design and I'm working with a lot of software. And I really like working on software because that's like the computer sciences part of me. So it's always about seeing where your opportunities can take you.